Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, first, let me say to my friend from California that this certainly isn't a war on women and certainly not on women of color either. Um, between, just to, to give everybody a little bit of background, between fiscal year 1990 Six in fiscal year 2009, uh, appropriations bills for the District of Columbia prohibited taxpayer-funded abortions. And many of those bills were da drafted by the Democratic Party and signed by Democratic presidents. Um, but in, then in fiscal year 2010, uh, the financial services bill lifted this restriction to allow local funds for abortion. However, the restriction was reinstated in fiscal year 20, in the fiscal uh, year 2011 year long CR uh, and fiscal year 2012. And this is uh, the only local restriction in the bill. And as um, you all know, we do need to move forward on this. Um, as I've said, uh, as I just mentioned, under, when Chairman Serrano uh, was chair, he modified the restriction to only prohibit federal funds for abortion in fiscal year, in the fiscal year 2011 bill. But on the House floor, that language was considered legislative and couldn't be modified to prevent uh, local funds for abortion. And so I don't know if any of y'all remember, but the issue almost <coughs> took down the rule for consideration in the fiscal year 2010 financial services bill. And the speaker, Speaker Pelosi, had to hold open the vote for nearly <coughs> half an hour to get uh, Democratic members to change their votes and allow for consideration of the bill that allows local funds for, for D.C. abortion. And so my point in explaining all that is to say that if we want the financial services bill to move forward, and I know, I admit there are probably people here who don't want it to move forward, um, but, uh, and you want the D.C government to be able to spend any of their local funds on anything else other than the abortion, then we have to include the language prohibiting funds for abortion, uh, because the House won't pass a rule to allow consideration of the bill on the floor without it. So voting for this amendment is voting to stop the financial services bill from moving through the appropriations process and stopping funds for the city and all of the federal agencies in the subcommittee's jurisdiction. So I urge a no vote.